hi to Chaco. Hey. Blade Master is playing aggressive. Death Tide also pretty aggressive. This Blade Master wants to creep for a focus. And Charmiko, of course, creeping with the Water Elemental and uh, the other units. What map is this? I forgot the name. Someone else will know. Uh, this ogre is about to die. The Archmage picks up the sentry words. What a beautiful item. Unless the... Can he reach it? He does reach it just in time before the Blade Master shows up. Blade Master did steal... Uh, wait, 24 XP? How did he get 24 XP? Oh, he shared it, of course, with the Death Knight. He did steal that uh, level 3 creep. This beautiful uh, grunt here killing this peasant. And the Death Knight here helping as well. He has uh, two skeletons. There's a coil. Can he kill this peasant? The skeletons trying to. They, they, no, they're being diverted by the uh, militia. Archmage in danger. Blade Master super low hit points for cash. Can he? Oh no! Uh, wait, what? Oh, he was out of dust. I think he was dusted, but uh, oh, Sentry Word. Or was it Sentry Word? It does good. It does survive, by the way. Ten hit points. These two Sentry Wards, not good enough to kill the Blade Master. Blade Master is coming back. <laughs> if he comes back, he's dead, man. These militia are standing there AFK. Maybe they should do something. We have a uh, footman hunting down these heroes of uh, Team Cash. And uh, your forces are under attack. You never explained why map was like that last game? What do you mean? The colors? For, uh, I don't know. Goldshire? Okay, Goldshire is the name of this map. There's a water elemental. He's gonna creep these gnolls. There's two of these uh, burst gnolls. It's beautiful. Are we gonna see a fast expansion? It does make sense, I mean. I think we always see fast expansion on this map. At least in Death Cup when we saw this map. Uh, usually it was a Night Elf player though, not a human player. Chicken! Guess we're eating chicken tonight. This Water Elemental super low hit points. The Grunts, they don't even care. Oh, the, the Coil cares. He kills the Water Elemental. This Grunt is going back home. The Blade Master and the uh, Grunts here going for these uh, peasants. And the Skeletons helping out as well. The Blade Master and the Grunts now going for the main. Not sure if that was ca uh, cancelled. How much gold does he have? Uh, Chamiko, I think he cancelled it. He has plenty of lumber and gold. There's a dust. He sees the Sentry Ward and the Blade Master, or the other way around. I'm not sure. Someone sees the Sentry Ward. This Blade Master uses he uh, Healing Self on himself. But he uh, it did get cancelled just before he went into Windwalk. This, uh, this Sentry Ward does go down, but the Blade Master does TP out here for cash. And this Grunt is dead though. He loses a grunt, but uh, the death knight he can get out of there safely. This peasant uh, healing self on the peasant. Footman as well. Death knight uh, takes a bit of damage. Beautiful uh, attack here on this fiend. The footman helping as well. There's a speed scroll used here by Blade Master. Not sure why exactly. Maybe to get this death knight. This death knight. Why is he even getting back in here? Some two skeletons. Okay. He wants to kill this peasant, but you know what? He's dead. So, uh... Sure. Maybe that wasn't worth it. The skeleton hunting down the peasant. He can't get it. The skeleton's going somewhere else. Maybe you play with the chicken. Blade Master for Cash is on its way. Meanwhile, by the way, Cash is already at tier 2. His Shadow Hunter is uh, gonna be out in a bit. A happy ready going to tier 3. Of course, uh, he's creeping with just fiends. Blade Master almost level 2. Here we have the Orc uh, Focus, of course, already at tier 2 as well. Only gets a Bestiary and a Wormill. No uh, Spirit Walkers like we see over here at the uh, Cash's side of the map. And uh, Chamiko, of course, still tier 1, just getting Footman and Expansion. And a Blacksmith. Blade Master now hunting this Blade Master. This Blade Master walks past her. <gasps> Why did he just kill the raccoon? I mean, why not kill the chickens? At least you eat the chickens. You don't eat the raccoon. Why did he just kill the raccoon? I don't know why. But uh, there's a second barracks. A player's forces are under attack. And uh, Cash is creeping this bandit. He kills it. 
Level 2 Blade Master. He kills the second bandit as well. That's also a dead bandit. New World Archmage. Killing Murloc. Sentry Words is a beautiful item. He, he wasted, wasted the other two Sentry Words here in these positions. So it's, he's glad to have uh, some better Sentry Words here. Maybe in the, maybe over here. So he can creep this safely. This, uh, these three creep camps. Or maybe uh, somewhere else. I don't know. But there's the Shadowhunter. Meanwhile, oh, we see tier three here for focus. Interesting. Interesting. Is he going Torrin? We have a bunny, bunny shadow hunter. How does it feel to be hexed yourself, huh? Uh, the bunny shadow hunter is doing just fine for now, but um, he does run away. This fiend goes down. The second fiend. Where's the ensnare? He could go down as well. Uh, seal uh, archmage here takes so much damage. He does TP out. And where is uh, the, the blade master here? Uh, Raccoon doesn't have a TP, of course. Not of course, but he doesn't have a TP. We only have one raider though for cash, and this fiend is just dying against Jamiko's uh, footmen. And the uh, footmen here are dying now. The fiend survives. They were running. And it's so confusing to see Teal against Blue, by the way. Because uh, sometimes we watch games where Teal and Blue are allies, you know? It's like. Blue is the player we watch, uh, from his perspective we watch, like on Netties. And then Teal uh, are his allies, or the other, yeah. And then the opponents are all red. And I, I watched this fight and I couldn't find any red units. I was like, wait, are they all allies? Are they all allies? But they weren't all allies. I was just confused. There's a Shadow Hunter. There's a, a Crypt Lord. Oh, interesting. Let's look at the supplies here. 30, 40 and 47 against 43 and 50. So a supply advantage for Team Chimiko. Yeah. What about the hero levels? We have uh, level three for Chimiko, level three and level two here for his uh, focus. Level three Shadow Hunter already. Well, so Cash only has level one Shadow Hunter uh, and level three Blade Master. Uh, so focus also now has level three uh, Blade Master. And Happy is 2 one, 1 So it does definitely look much better for Team Chimiko. But now we have the Orb. Now we can buy the Orb, of course. And that will change things. Maybe the Blade Master bought it. No. That Orb is super duper powerful. We also have a Kodo here. We have Acolytes. <laughs> Yeah, go creep some acolytes. Hello. This acolyte has a ranged attack. Wait, why don't the don't that acolytes have ranged attacks? Well, the Crippler does have the orb now. And there's a TP in and there's a TP out. And that's uh, that's just beautiful. But we have this expansion here for Team Charmiko, so they can make those trades easy peasy. What uh, what did he go for tier three for? Uh, he does get pillaged this game. Warsong Battle Drums. Warsong Battle Drums. That's super, super amazing. Dakota also has uh, maybe tier 2 upgrade, maybe soon. Why is he not getting Dakota upgrade? Maybe he thought he already has it because of the Warsong Battle Drums. But he doesn't have Dakota upgrade yet. Did he get the orb or something? He did get the orb of uh, lightning. But so far he only got the orb of lightning. That's the only thing he got from tier 3 so far. So uh, of course that's not worth it. Just getting the orb of lightning. We have tier 2 here for uh, for Chamiko. He has riflemen and casters. Meanwhile, happy. Still has an orb on the Crypt Lord. Maybe give it to someone else. Maybe the Lich would like it. Ka ka. We have some uh, skeletons here. We have some soup. If you guys are hungry, soup for everyone in my channel. And they find this expansion. But the Blade Master is here for defense. 
Oh, he's going for the Shadow Hunter. Shadow Hunter TPs out immediately. Uh, does he get the cancel? Does he get it? He does get the cancel. They lose one grunt, and that's it. Rebuilds the expansion. What are the supplies? 51, 50 against 67 and 50. Happy at 51. Okay, he's going to 54 now. While uh, Chamiko already is 73. Rifleman priests. He has a paladin second, which is amazing, of course. Paladin. Is the main way to heal. Help heal the blade master. Maybe the holy healing wave is not good enough. He needs holy light as well. This grunt takes so much damage so fast. We have so many destroyers for happy. Uh, they might just uh, kill everything. The Kodo shows up as well. He eats a raider. So tasty. Beautiful. Uh, Impil there. Blizzard does nothing. It hits nothing. Uh, this is. Uh, is this still going to be. Is this going to be a comeback for cash and, and happy? Another Impil. This one not as beautiful, but still pretty nice. This uh, Blizzard still again hitting. Doesn't hit too much. Oh, he hits a few units now. Uh, units are dying even. There goes a raider. The paladin is still uh, doing just fine. TP out here by Cash. The blade master though survives. No problem. No problem. Happy still 54 supply, but he lost a lot of hit points on his destroyers. This uh, raider goes down and he TPs out. The crypt lord is level two now, and we have some sentry wards over here. Oh, one of them does get killed. Okay, and now we have uh, 54 and 50 against 68 and 47. Just guess not that much happened in that fight. We see a lot of dead units, but I guess everyone lost about the same amount of units. Uh, peons walking towards the gold mine. Oh, the Shadowhunter is level 3 now for cash, by the way, this, which is pretty important. Remember, I mentioned earlier it was still level 1. Oh, there's beautiful Blizzard. Maybe this uh, Spirit Walker. No, he dies. There's a snare on the on the Archmage. Archmage gets a holy light just before he gets nuked, but oh, he goes down. I just looked away for like a microsecond, and Coil Nova kills him. It was just level one Nova as well. Blade Master going for the Lich though. The Lich, oh, the Lich is going to die, and that means that Happy's uh, power level just got reduced by 20%, maybe even more by 200%. Yeah, that's much better. And uh, there's a there's a dust. And uh, it seems like Cash's army is just not very strong. He has, uh, has nothing, really. He has nothing. It looks like the Teal army is just too powerful. At this point, uh, I don't I don't see anyone killing uh, all these riflemen. The Death Knight tries, but, you know, he loses his destroyers. Impil is not good enough. It just stunts. Okay, these, uh, these raiders at least are dying. They have two, uh, zero two uh, upgrades here for uh, focus. Shadowhunter goes down. Beautiful. Uh, Call the Beast is next. Impil guy comes back, but uh, needs coil. That's what he gets. Blade Master is beautiful. 130 damage critical strike, but uh, the Rifleman survives. Look at him, three hit points. Death Knight tries to kill him, but he misses. Uh, the Blade Master shows up, and he's dead. GG. Okay, so focus in the yellow. Chamiko also in the yellow. He fast builds his Archmage. So I'm not, uh, is he planning something uh, sneaky? Here we have uh, uh, what's his name? Cash in the purple. Doing the same build as Focus. And Happy, of course, with. Uh, well, where's the graveyard? In a, Oh, early Death Knight. Early Death Knight. This is the first time we see this build. No, last game we also went early Death Knight. <laughs> but all the other undeads played a late Death Knight. With all the other undeads, I pretty much only mean Lucifer. Lucifer played late Death Knight. Early Death Knight for Happy. And what do we have here? A ghoul. There's a beautiful ghoul. And the graveyard is going up slowly. We have two more relics. The Acolyte scouts over here. He sees this base here of, uh, of Focus, who is building a Blade Master. Here we also have a Blade Master. Archmage already out super early, using his militia guys to uh, helping out, and he's gonna creep. It's 
I like these yellow purple colors. They remind me of something. But I don't remember what this reminds me of. So I guess it doesn't remind me of anything, but I feel like it should. Yeah, this last guy is also dead. Okay, so the Archmage is almost level 2. Here comes the Blade Master. Meanwhile, the Death Knight is on his way over here. Uh, this Acolyte sees exactly what's happening. And Tojara does get the kill and the Gloves of Haste. The Acolyte, though, uh, in the, he coils the Blade Master, uses the Skeletons. The first coil comes with a discount, of course. The Archmage here, still level 1. Blade Master going for this level 5. The Death Knight and uh, everything, everyone else just killing these trolls. Uh, I'm afraid purple color is too strong for happy and cash. 1-1. One, one. Oh. I guess it's already decided. Uh, Blade Master here gets the kill, of course. Parry up. Not really the best item he could have gotten. Or did, oh, wait. He does not get the kill. But he does get the items. <laughs> I mean, the Blade Master did not get the kill. The Water, water Elemental did. So that means uh, the Archmage is now level 2. He shared the XP, I think, with the Blade Master over here. Oh, yeah. And Blade Master uses uh, loses his uh, healing self. Oh, this Blade Master is in Players deep. Nah, yes, no, speed scroll. In worst case, there it is. Uses the speed scroll and another healing self. <coughs> Coil, get some slippers, and now the slippers are gonna be super because you can give it to your ally who has a Blade Master. Normally, as in that, you don't really like the slippers of agility so much. But in this case, he loves them. He's like, haha, I have a present for you, Cash. And Cash is uh, already grinning as well. Uh, the peons are repairing this uh, Moonwell, also known as a burrow. And he's going for the next burrow, the Blade Master at least is. Well, the Footman and the Water Elemental still going for the first one. The Footman do decide to, to retreat. And uh, there's a cancel on one burrow. Thanks to the Blade Master. Oh, nice surround here with two skeletons on this uh, water ele elemental. This other water elemental also taking a lot of damage. Uh, he got the XP for that one. And now the Burrows are attacking the Footman. So uh, he got most of the XP's for the water elementals, or, or all of them. 25 hit points, 102 hit points. The Koya won't kill him. Blade Master shows up. He's like, hey. Archmage in uh, pretty low hit points, but he's fine. Beautiful block there by the Footman on the Death Knight. And the Death Knight just decides to go for the Archmage instead. It, uh, blocks him in, cuts him off, etc. The Archmage TP's out. Buys the boots, but you know. Boots are beautiful. Oh, oops. Blade Master is level 1. Blade Master here also level 1. 100 XP against 123. Death Knight decides to creep a little bit. Maybe give these slippers to your ally. Let's trade items. No. <laughs> the slippers are so useless on the Death Knight. You will the Archmage just creeping over here. He also gets slippers for his ally. Also gloves of haste. The gauntlets. Fine. You can keep those. Here uh, focuses Blade Master, just killing this Ogre Warrior. Let's see what he gets here. He needs a super item. Claws of Attack is nice. So he is getting Bestiary and Spirit Lodge. Cash is doing the same. Are under Very standard orc play. We have uh, Black Citadel going up here for Happy. And a Lich. And of course, Shaimiko with the Arcane Sanctum. And a Paladin second again. Again, he's going to play Rifleman Priests with a Paladin. Interesting. Nice Tome of Strength. Now the Blade Master is so much stronger than he was before. And are they gonna creep this creep camp? Yes. They're gonna creep this creep camp and they will get a super item that can win them the game. But here is the Shadow Hunter. However, Cash already got this uh, level 5. Wait, Cash has all the Sentry Wards, Watch Watcher Ward, I mean. Which is beautiful. He has uh, Elevation as well. On top of Barry up, so the Blade Master doesn't die very fast. Top of XP, Death Knight picks it up. Lion Horn, a uh, Lion Doom Horn. What a shitty item. Uh, when you already have a Death Knight, there's a Lich. No orb yet because he's still a Black Citadel. Uh, not a, not on Black Citadel. Uh, these creeps have been killed here by Mr. Focus. Well, uh, 
Chamiko creeps the turtles. Skull of the Beast, of course, is super powerful. And focus is a bit too late here. This has already been crapped. A bit too late. You must be so sad. I I'd feel sad. Blade Master, what is he doing here? He's saying hi, maybe. Did we uh, have this ex exchange of items yet? Yes. The slippers of agility have been given to the Blade Master. He also gave the uh, Legion Doomhorn to the Blade Master for uh, better movement speed and uh, healing. Oh, Hex, this little, little penguin is taking a lot of damage and he's down a turtle again. And 104 critical strike is beautiful. Uses healing, uh, healing. We have a greater healing potion as well. And Cash is going for this item. This item at the bottom left is, of course, it could be an amazing item. It could be better than the last one he got. But Team Yellow, Team Focus, Charmiko doesn't want this. Uh, doesn't want Cash to just get this item for free. They will at least force a TP, or maybe they can even steal it. With the hacks, I don't think so, but at least half the XP was lost because uh, the Blade Master was a chicken and he does TP out. One well, Raider went down as well, and uh, a lot of units are pretty low on hit points. Team Yellow will finish off this crypto. They have a level 2 Shadow Hunter here for Team Purple. We have a level 2 Shadow Hunter, but much lower XP points. Maybe we can get a level 3 Shadow Hunter here. That's exactly why all these other heroes are in the back. Paladin moves in. Uh, which is fine, the Shadow Hunter is level 3 already. And um, that means, you know, we have a Tome of Retraining on the Archmage, that's what it means. Do, uh, happy to creep this creep camp. Let's sure get some parry up, I think. The player's forces are under attack. This Shadow Hunter, this level 2 Shadow Hunter for cash though, is just uh, not strong enough. But Happy, does he have the orb? Happy has the orb though. And the orb, the undead, taking you up with the orb is probably better than a human with like some rifle and a priest. But we'll see. The blizzard of course super strong, but there's hacks. We also have uh, raiders, but the raiders got in stairs, so they are not in range of uh, ensnaring that archmage. These raiders for cash. Okay, they're no longer ensnared. Maybe you can cast some ensnares. There's another hex. These raiders, the purple raiders, are so on hit points. Nakoda here. Uh, could eat the priest maybe that's right in front of him. Meanwhile, right there is uh, another instar on the Archmage. He's about to die though. Dakota did not eat something. Uh, Blizzard on his own peasant? Shadowhunter is dead, so that's fine. And uh, Cliplord shows up. Hello. And uh, that's all he has to say. He just says hello. It seems like the Orc army here is mostly uh, is dead. But Lucifer, uh, Lucifer, not Lucifer. Happy's army is still super duper strong with the orb. He could, he might still be able to win this one against two. Especially if the Dakota stays alive to give him another 10% bonus damage. The Blizzard is just so strong. It's like insanely strong. And uh, the Blade Master is being killed by the Blade Master. Of course we have a level 3 Paladin as well. Who heals the Blade Master for, for a lot. Uh, he only lights the, uh, the Crypt Lord, but the Crypt Lord is still alive. No, not anymore. He's just a little dead insect. Uh, we don't have mana for coils. And the players' forces are under attack, but these peasants are dying. These blizzards are beautiful. This is looking horrible for Team Purple. Uh, this, uh, this Blade Master comes back in. Does he have level 2 critical strike? I don't know, but he does a lot of damage. Plus 17 damage and uh, he cannot die with the Paladin and the Shadow Hunter healing him back up. Shadow Hunter is out of mana. Uh, the Blade Master here for purple. Samuro buys some kind of healing. But he is still alive. Well, we have three destroyers down in the air for Team uh, team Happy. Blade Master is about to die though. And that has to be GG. I mean, Happy might stay in the... Okay, never mind. G G G G Blue against blue. Of course it's steel, it's not really blue. But it's like the closest you can get to blue in this game. No, light blue is also a color, but you know. You know. I know. We have a uh, Death Knight first again. Uh, again a fast hero, right? Yeah, and we have a Blade Master. Do we have a super fast hero for Jamiko? No, 
normal timing. He's building a barracks, he's building a farm. What do we have here for focus? Blade master. Great. Great game so far. Great game so far. Um, Death Knight, <laughs> look at this graveyard placement. Guess he, he doesn't know the building placement on this map too well. Not that I know it. Maybe this is the best placement. Maybe this is the base, best base he can build. Uh, but, but it probably isn't. I'm not sure. We do know that uh, Happy doesn't probably doesn't know either because you know he hasn't played much games on this map. So this graveyard is uh, is placed over here. We have a sheep over here, and a death knight over here, and another sheep over here, <laughs> and a sheep over there. Uh, and what other sheep is he gonna explore? He sees a sheep over there. <laughs> and uh, do we see more sheep? The Death Knight is just searching for all the sheep. Meanwhile, Blade Master already uh, starts creeping, buys the circle, it sells his TP, gets a beautiful Gloves of Haste, and the Archmage is going for this mercenary camp. Blade Master and Death Knight on their way to uh, harass. Harass? They, they uh, scouted with the Acolyte, of course. So they know exactly where to go. Blade Master, keep running, Blade Master. Uh, coil on the peasant. Blade Master goes for different peasants. Uh, skeletons show up, but they get dispelled by this evil force of Shadow Priest. But the coil takes care of him. The grunt here uh, helping out, killing peons. The Blade Master kills a peon on the uh, on the left side. These two peons here are definitely going to die. They're actually peasants, but that's fine. Uh, this last one is also so that even the acolyte helping out. Wow, what a beautiful teamwork! Meanwhile, here the blade master is on his way to level two. He got a claws of attack. Uh, how many peasants died in total? Like five? Let's count. Seventy-nine plus hundred and fourteen is hundred and. Uh, I, I can do math, guys. Also, they got a, a 40 XP for Soul Shadow Priest. Uh, this grunt goes is fine, but they probably got around five. Uh, and he, he will he get more. He has one more coil, but uh, he's just trying to hunt this one with skeletons. It's very low on hit points. The Blade Master uses a heal salve. Uh, this guy, man, he's running. He doesn't want to die. He's at eight hit points. Of course, you don't want to die if you're at eight hit points. The Acolyte wants him as well. The skeleton does go down. Uh, I forgot to check what kind of healing fountain we have, but I think it was a healing fountain. Else I would have noticed, like, hey, it's a mana fountain. I think it's a healing fountain. Yeah, there it is. Blade Master Tojara. Blade Master Kigami. Claws of Attack. 193. 193. Was that uh, the, two, two, the two numbers added together? Well, 193 minus 40 is 153, so I'm not sure exactly. Uh, I guess maybe they stole one creep then? 153? No, I, I don't know. Anyway, the Blade Master going for this Norbrut. He's just, uh, he will get a good item. Claws of attack. Here comes the blue army. The blue army is walking at, into the undead base. There is a defense force with a Nerubian tower to fall back to. Oh, the peasants though, the peasants in some uh, deep shit, 106 critical strike. Uh, there is a staff by the blade master to defend against the evil footman. Uh, there's, there's a coil to save the uh, the fiend, there's another fiend shows up. The blade master though, he doesn't want to let this fiend live. This fiend is probably going to die, but meanwhile the death knight here is trying to save his acolyte. The fiend is down to 49 hit points, is he uh, 5 hit points, blade master hasn't killed him yet. There goes a grunt for team blue. For uh, focus, focus lost the grunt. We have uh, he's a toss of the dead. He can start replenishing acolytes if he has the gold. That is first uh, he builds a lich. By the way, we have three, four acolytes. He's building a fifth one. This footman is so dead though, and this grunt is even uh, blocking him already. Meanwhile, uh, the plate masters switches to the cash's base, forces a castle on the bestiary, and of course the spirit lodge is also kind of vulnerable. But the plate master. See, he walks in the base. <laughs> Does not realize you can just attack it from the outside. There's a bestiary. Meanwhile, the Archmage healing at the center. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> okay, well. Blade Master shows up. Shadow Hunter over here. Do we have a Shadowhunter? Yeah, Shadowhunter for cash. 
happy with some nice level 1 heroes here. Lord Maldazar and Slaughterhouse is going to Black Citadel. See some creeping here. Shed Hunter doing some nice creeping. Where are these gnolls here? They are. All oh, these gnolls just dying. Flute of Accuracy is. I guess the Arc Mage, but it's. Is he going right from men again? Yeah, there's his blacksmith, arcane. Okay, he's going for exactly the same strategy. So I guess it's it's decent. It's pretty good actually. It's, yeah, it's, it's really good actually. It's just super good. Blade master here, killing these gnolls. It's beautiful. Uh, once a level three blade master ASAP, even moves his shadow hunter out of the out of the way, and he will pick up the tome of IQ. Meanwhile, happy creeping over here. He has a level two death knight now. Scroll of the beast, of course, super item, two v two especially. And here's an attack on the base. The base is open, isn't it? A player's forces are under attack. The base is open for Chimiko. No tower. Someone has to TP. And it's, uh, it's fine. Gets a coil. Oh, it's... There's a TP. And the TP here by Happy as well. Oh, this... Okay, never mind. He survives. Easy peasy. And cash TP that as well. So uh, everyone just TP it back to slant. Uh, wait, clean slant, clean slate. Only uh, focused in TP, so he can continue creeping. He buys a TP though, so uh, that's fair. Four grunts, two raiders. What else is he getting? Raiders and grunts. No spirit walkers for focus. We do get for spirit walkers here for uh, this player, also known as Cash. I'm not sure why he skips on the spirit walkers. It seemed pretty strong with the health fountain in the center. With uh, the unit skill. Blade Master just killing some more peasants, you know. He has a staff, he can always get out. This uh, this open base might lose uh, Team Chimiko the game. <laughs> Arkman just staffs uh, home by himself. Not afraid at all. We have a level 1 paladin to heal him anyway, so I guess it makes sense. Shadowhunter level 2. Oh, and they're gonna creep the super, super duper, super item guy. I'm not sure what item it gives actually. <laughs> I, I don't even know. It's uh, We have seen these three golems before. They're on a lot of different maps. Like Am Amazonia. Um, other maps. Yeah. Well, this uh, level 9 Grand Knight golem is going down. Dark Ranger shows up. She also wants some uh, of the XP. Maybe the Dark Ranger should not have shown up. She she shouldn't be stealing XP, right? Red Drag Drag. Uh, wait, what? Red Drake Egg is uh, not the best. But there's no there's this spell, but the dragon has quite a lot of hit points. Here we have a uh, Spike Collar. Well, there's a lot more dispel on this side, so that's uh, that's even worse. We have destroyers, and we have spirit walkers. Uh, uh, uh. Tone of retraining for Blizzard. That's beautiful. Let's look at the supply. Oh, we can't. Okay. So we have 44 supply for Chamiko, 50 here for focus, 49 for cash, 49 for happy. So team happy is a bit up in supply bid up and they will form destroyers of course uh, and they will go over 50 if this cigarette finishes does he have to orb yet lich yeah he has to orb also scroll of the beast uh, I think like they can win this game it does look pretty good for team happy this game Archmage level 3 paladin level 1 shadow hunters level 4 already what the fuck how did he get level 4 for focus already uh, and uh, blade master also almost level 4 of course he got a ton of XP here um, well, Focus's heroes look super duper powerful, strong. Here we only have level 2 Shadowhunter. Level 2 against level 4. Okay, never mind. I take everything back. I don't think they can win ever against the uh, Chimiko Focus team. But there is the little, uh, the little, uh, Felhound. And there is the Drake. Drake. There's, uh, there's the Blizzard. Only, uh, doesn't really hit anything though. The Death Knight takes some damage. Can he kill the Death Knight? 
Deathlight might have to uh, TP out here, and he does TP out. Does uh, Cash have a TP? Oh, he kills the Archmage. Beautiful kill on the Archmage, and he TPs out as well. Wow. Guess this went as good as it could have gone for Cash, considering that their Shadowhunter was so weak and useless. It still is weak and useless. Uh, wait, did they even got any XP? I feel like the Shadowhunter had just as much XP before. So that means that Grunt and Rifleman are both units of Chamiko's team, of Team Blue. I think that's true, yeah. Uh, they did uh, they did also lose an Archmage, but they did force two TPs in the end. It was pretty good for Team Teal. Team Happy did amazing. Death Knight here. See you later, uh, Micro Show. A player's forces are under attack. Death Knight is uh, healing with the healing self. We do have the spirit walkers on this side. So, oh, what is uh, what's he doing? He will have to buy. Oh, he has a TP. So with the spirit link, of course, it's much harder to kill a hero. Much harder to focus any heroes. Sure, there's dispel. Wait, where's dispel? Does he even have any priests? Here, why are all the priests in the base? Okay, uh. Chamiko with the priest in the base. He should cast this, but there it is. Cast some dispels. But uh, the TP here for focus is. What? He, he's attacking from all sides. We have an attack from all sides here on the TO uh, units. Coil on this uh, this guy. Do we have healing scrolls? I think he just. Uh, team Teal just use heal healing scroll. We finally have a level 3 Shadow Hunter. Paladin went down. Uh, the Lich is doing beautiful work here. And the Koto here could eat a unit or die or both at the same time. He eats a unit and he dies. This uh, Grunt attacking and fighting in the back. The Blade Master going for the Lich. The Shadow Hunter is silenced thanks to the Dark Ranger. The Blade Master also silenced. That must have been the greatest level 1 silence I've seen in my life. Uh, and there's some more Blizzard. Blizzard is beautiful. Uh, Peons here in the fight as well for Cash. Blade Master this 195 critical strike. The uh, Death Knight is ensnared. The Blade Master just walking around, just attacking. Uh, a grunt are killing it even. And uh, team uh, team Chamiko is hanging in there maybe. We still have three destroyers in the air. The heroes are all still alive for team happy. Uh, the rifleman does survive of course. Death Knight is being focused with a spirit link and frost armor. You cannot kill that with the blade master. There's a beautiful uh somehow somewhat beautiful blizzard, but uh, this raider is dead there for Cash. Uh, the Cash's Blade Master also got ensnared, but he survives for now. And are they pushed back? It seems like uh, <laughs> Paladin comes back. Of course, level one hero comes back at 36 seconds. The destroyers almost kill a footman, but in the end they don't. Uh, do we have more coils? We are out of coils. We're also kind of out of. Uh, let's see. We are out of a mana on the Shadow Hunter here for Team Teal. We have also no more mana for Team Blue, but the Shadow Hunter is, is very close to level five. Catches Blade Masters, Michael back. The destroyers all die, and it seems like Team Blue does come ahead. Come out ahead, team. Uh, focus, Jamiko. With their uh, superheroes. There is a uh, info potion TP out for both teal teams. What's the supply like? Um, cash at 35, happy at 37, Jamiko at 47, and focus also at 47. And the Shadow Hunter is so close to level five. He needs four more XP, and they win the game. Level 5 Shadow Hunter should just be like, instead of level 3 Healing Wave, level 3 Healing Wave should just be like, win the game button, because that's what it is. Level 5 Shadow Hunter, look at these Healing Waves, everything back to full health. Here comes the Death Knight, level 3 Death Knight, yeah, good luck. Blade Master, does so much damage here of course for focus, he has all the super items. He does plus 18 damage, he attacks very fast, and his Blade Master is, it gets Healing Wave, he survived for now. Uh, this code is at, at 29 hit points. Could die if he walks too far forward. He walks a bit forward, but he gets healing wave. Nice blizzard here on the heroes of uh, of Happy. But he's he also blizzarded some of his own uh, heroes, but it doesn't matter. There's just not enough here for Happy and Cash. This blizzard is so beautiful, and this bunny, this Death Knight bunny, is uh, Michael back and GG, GG. GG 3-0 for Team Chamiko and Chamiko won and that's uh, 
Tamika and Focus win the tournament 3-0.